out of my way. Potter. So, it's true. You have returned. When the governors learned that Arthur Weasley's daughter was taken into the chamber, they saw fit to summon me back. Ridiculous. Curiously, Lucius, several of them were under the impression that you would curse their families if they did not agree to suspend me in the first place. How dare you? I beg your pardon. My sole concern has always been, and will always be, the welfare of this school and, of course, its students. The culprit has been identified, I presume? Oh, yes. And? Who was it? Voldemort. Ah. Only this time he chose to act through somebody else by means of this. I see. Fortunately, our young Mr. Potter discovered it. One hopes that no more of Lord Voldemort's old school things should find their way into innocent hands. The consequences for the one responsible would be severe. Well, let us hope that Mr. Potter will always be around to save the day. Don't worry. I will be. Dumbledore. Come, Dobby. We're leaving. I could have that. Mr. Malfoy. Mr. Malfoy. I have something of yours. Mine? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I think you do, sir. I think you slipped the diary into Ginny Weasley's cauldron that day at Diagon Alley. You do? Do you? a sock. What? I didn't... Master has presented Dobby with clothes. Dobby is free. You lost me, my servant! You shall not harm Harry Potter! <laughs> Your parents were meddlesome fools, too. Mark my words, Potter. One day soon, you are going to meet the same. Harry Potter free Dobby. How can Dobby ever repay him? Just promise me something. Anything, sir. Never try to save my life again. 